Greetings, 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 greetings. Peace and blessings to you and to your womb and to your ancestors. Happy Blessed Sunday, my sisters. I hope you are feeling good. Just feeling blessed, feeling content. And I want to invite invite you in. Invite you in. Come on, sister loves. Come on in to um fill up your womb with blessings of peace, contentment, and delight. Ashe. Mmm, that feels so good. That feels so good. Ah, blessings of contentment, peace, and delight. Ah, mm. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm going to uh, talk about today, our, this is our second week for our Womb Love Devotional. We're going to go all month long. And I am... Um, I have my laptop going so I can see if you have any questions, but otherwise I'm just going to flow, flow, flow and get and set the intention for this week for our womb love devotional. I know that there are several, several new sisters who are in the group. I want to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new womb goddesses. I am Antoinette Doe, priestess, um, womb priestess, reverend. Um, Oma Ushun Priestess in Ifa. Um, and I am a Yanni, certified Yanni Singh practitioner. I offer all types of readings, and I particularly, um, uh, my uh, my specialty, I guess you can say, is in um, ancestral readings, divination, because I'm a spiritual medium, and also working with the womb. I do. I offer womb divination and also womb health consultations. So, um, yeah, that's what I do. I also, um, you know, offer spiritual journeys that we're doing here now. It's a free spiritual journey. I offer moon circles and stuff like that. I'm all about the womb, sensual goddess energy, yawning soul, bliss, pleasure, feminine wholeness, and just being in beautiful peace, content, and delight. And that is our intention. That is our intention for um, this week. This is for one, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, week because um, this, the Valentine's Day is coming up. We got the new moon coming up. So it's a beautiful time to um, bring in this energy of peace, love, and delight. Mm, my, my yawning and my womb just, is just humming right now off of that because I woke up with this intention um I wrote this down like you know I channeled the messages what I'm going to give you all you know how we're going to do it week by week by week and I had it and I had it wrote down and how it actually looks is a little bit different than what what I kind of jotted down just how I was given to give this um this womb love devotional journey this month of love for you all to nurture all your seeds and all your beautiful intentions that you have set from the winter solstice through to the new year. So um, I I knew this this week was all about sacred touch um, and connecting with your womb through this through touching. That's the primary intention. But what dropped in my spirit this morning was okay. Let's talk about how and in blessing, of course. But how are you going to bless? And what is the energy that we're blessing with, right? And as I just feel the vibration of our group, it came to me to um, come into this space, come into this energy of being peace. Right. I will post it, but you can go back and look over some of the the sister circles that I did. I want to say maybe about these around December. And that particular sister circle was about let peace begin with me. Um, we want to kind of go back into that energy to reframe it and bring more feminine energy to it. 
and allow our nurturing nature, our feminine energy to in our womb to sink a bit deeper in how we can uh, let peace begin with us, right? It's Sunday. We This is all about the day of healing and peace and rest and all of that. So we want to carry this energy with us and set this intention together that we want to let peace begin with us. We want to feminize it and we want to nurture it and we want to bring that energy to our womb, to our uterus in particularly. Um, and allow that to be a seed of peace, the seed of peace, and let that drop into your womb right now, right? And nurture that this week through your blessing your womb, through touching your womb, if you want to go extra, through massaging your womb, and if you really want to go and reach even further, bring that energy to your yoni, to your first gate, um, which is your vaginal canal, and up your yoni and your vaginal canal so that you can feel into your beautiful pearl your clitoris and you could just feel mm, the vibration of contentment and delight all through you and let your womb and your yoni just vibrate in your feminine energy and touch and nurture your breasts and your body and just be in beautiful feminine contentment that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm starting this weekend. And it feels so good. I want to go back and just give you a little bit more um, what this feels like for me, what I've experienced today and the energy and how I'm going to keep carry this. So I do blessings all the time over everything. <laughs> I bless up everything and mentioning, oh, actually mentioning about blessings, this week is the new moon. So um, I am offering to my circle um, new moon blessing, a new moon blessing ritual every new moon throughout this year. I am offering that. So you'll see the post, but I kind of want to give you a heads up in, in terms of, okay, let's start thinking about here how we want to set some new, our new moon intentions and let's bless it up. So I'm going to be offering that um, and you can just sign up for it. I'll have the links and all that stuff posted in the group this week. But I just want to kind of um, bring that energy here because we have a couple days here, about four days before we actually get into the new moon energy. So allow yourself to kind of bring that energy and have peace around it, have goodness around it, be content with it. So everything is everything, right? Everything is everything and, and, and everything is everything as we flow and allowing that energy to flow with you I already have my new moon tension down blessing. <laughs> okay. But so when I think about peace, right, I was, I was, uh, I rise this morning and receive all my messages and all of that type of stuff. And um, I went downstairs and I do what I always do. You know, I had my water, drank some water and I um, did some stretches, uh, standing stretches. And then I decided to what I always do is time to do my central uh, stretches for the morning to kind of wake up my body and wake up my central energy, wake up my womb and kind of pull in that energy and sit with my body, sit with my womb, sit with my yoni, receive the messages from my own temple and just be right. Um, so after I send my son upstairs, cause he know mama time is mama time in the morning. Don't play with mama time. Go use the bathroom, get your rump upstairs, Ashley. <laughs> okay. So after I sent him off, I, um, I just, you know, did my deep breathing and did my sun salutations, uh, and laid on my mat and just begin to go through my flow of my breathing and being with myself, being with my womb and thinking about peace right? And blessing myself with peace. And how do I be peace? How can I be peace today? Over the past, um, particularly during the winter solstice, when I was doing a lot of fasting, praying and all that type of stuff that spiritual spiritualists do during the winter solstice, um, I did a lot of peace praying, praying, praying for peace, peace, blessing, peace, praying for the world, peace and just all of that type of stuff. And now um, I have that energy and I reel with that energy. But now spirit is bringing me to my womb. Spirit is bringing to and my life is inviting more peace but what does that what does our peace look like as feminine beings 
And that's what the question I asked. I said, okay, I understand peace. When I was praying for peace, I was praying to um, Baba Abatala. I was, you know, I was doing that. You pour my libation, all of that. So as it, working in the tradition, but what does that look like in my feminine? What does feminine essence look like? How to embody peace as a feminine being? What is that? For me, so I sat with it, and I just went through, you know, did my central movements, and ah, took some deep breaths, and I sat with it, and what was under it, underneath that peace, and letting peace begin with me, and ex- experiencing peace, um, was contentment, was being in contentment, being content. Being content is not settling. Being content is just a place of like, ah, all is well. You know, when you get home after you, you've been out and about and those of us who still wear bras, <laughs> you take that bra off and, you know, you unwrap your hair, you know, and you're just, and you put your house dress on and you, whatever your kimono, whatever you, you whatever you wear around the house and you're just, ah, whoo, I'm home. Whew. I'm, it's, it's an energy of just all is well. And you're just, I'm so, I just feel so content right now. I just feel so good. All is well. That, that right there is what feminine peace feels like. It's a place of just, it's just goodness. Um, and you're not, you're not worried about anything. You're present. It's beautiful. It's good. It's actually peace. Um, you're content to be, to be content with something. So I, I was just like, Ooh, yes, that, that resonated with my womb and it, and it resonated with my yawning. And I just began to, um, bless my womb with, and fill my womb up with contentment. I want to actually give you the definition of contentment, right? A state of happiness and satisfaction. Ooh, to be satisfied, you know? Oh my goodness. It's a blessing to have gratification, fulfillment, happiness, pleasure, cheerfulness, ease, comfort, well-being, peace, serenity tranquility now who don't want to be in all of those states at one time and the one word (laughs) and the one word that describe all of those different vibrational frequencies which is a form of love is contentment our feminine peace looks like contentment and it's a devotion it's a practice to say okay i want to allow myself and please believe me we're setting this intention to be in a place of feminine peace, to be in a place of contentment there over this week, (laughs) you're going to get tried. Trust and believe that. You rise every day and say, you know what? I am blessing my womb with feminine contentment. I am blessing myself with peace. I lift my thoughts, my mind, my body, my being. Sit with your womb 15 minutes. Bless your womb. Lay hands on your womb. I fill you up with peace contentment and delight and go out into the world and carry that energy or however your world is your home if you're at home or however if you work online whatever you do but set that intention to carry your carry that energy and that seed that we're planting to nurture it um for your feminine peace um and trust that you by you doing this there will be some energies that's going to uh challenge that is the invitation because you're saying okay you want to be in feminine peace that means what does that mean when your son is acting crazy or your husband come in or your daughter have her attitude or the lady at work and did this or this car and cut you off what you know want to cut you off want to get in the lane all of that stuff that can shake your contentment <laughs> Okay, will arise because you're setting the intention to be in peace, right? To be in feminine essence of peace, which is contentment. 
So be aware that um, just like any invitation that you take, this is an invitation and that those things can happen to you. But what we do is then how do we bring ourselves back into um, our, our peace as always and bring ourselves back into our head peace, right? In our feminine peace, in our womb um, energy, which is our contentment. How do we bring ourselves back into that? And it's going to be simple to to just allow the energies just to flow through you, whatever the feelings that you're experiencing, just allow for, just allow it to just wash through you and flow, th and flow through you. It's okay. And let those feelings, whatever you're feeling, be a witness to them, allow them to flow through you and just bless yourself again. Just bless yourself. Okay, I recognize this is occurring. <sighs> I bless myself with peace. I am peace. I bless myself with contentment. I am so content. I bless myself with the light. Oh my goodness. I am so grateful. I am filled with the light and wonder of life. I All I see is beauty and delight. All I see is the light in you because I also have this light in me. So when you sit, set this intention, my darlings, it's going to happen. Is is it? I guarantee you, you do this and you devote yourself to, to this practice for seven days of being in a spirit of contentment, which is a form of peace, a choosing delight, which is happiness, gratitude and goodness, pleasure, um, fulfillment, charm, enchant enchantment, um, being amused, being tickled pink in wonder. Seeing, uh, allowing your innocence to rise, allowing your grace to play, just being a beautiful feminine essence being. Happiness. You will experience some invitations that's going to say, nah, that's, that's not who you are for real. How do I know? Because <laughs> I've been practicing this since before the winter solstice. And it never fails. And then I just, when I end up feeding into that energy, I, you know, you, we just come right back. I speak forgiveness over myself. Like, oh, I could have, I could have, I dropped out of my womb space there. And oh my goodness, I didn't see the light of you. <laughs> you know, it happens and it's okay. But it, it's, it gets easier for us to come back in, come back in and return back to love and return back to love. It gets easier and it gets easier and it gets easier. And it's okay. But you wake and you rise with the intention. That's why I suggest you wake up with this intention. Bless yourself, bless your womb, lay hands on your womb, fill your womb up with the spirit, with the intention nurturing this seed of I, I I'm choosing this I'm choosing peace I'm choosing contentment I'm choosing delight and I'm allow that feminine energy just to carry me throughout my day that's what I'm gonna do because it's beautiful and it's so lovely it's so lovely and it feels so good <sighs> I've been carrying this energy all day today once I dropped into my spirit, I blessed my womb. I laid hands on my womb, all that stuff. Um, and I recently posted in the group, um, and I'll do it with you, how you how you would do the practice, um, the actual practice of laying hands and um, blessing your womb and filling your womb up with this spirit of contentment, delight, and peace. Once I did this, I went further. So I want to invite you a little bit further in this and reach a little bit further. If you choose, I'm suggesting that you at least I, I, I when I devote myself to practice, I do it daily. That's how I am. I when I'm in a journey, I am devoted to it and I do it daily because that's how you, you nurture the seeds, you nurture, 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 you nurture. And that's how you transform. It's, that's why it's devotion and dedication. So I do it daily, but, um, and, and then I, then it just transforms. And then I just, I get, I get, I, I break, you know, my heart opens more and I get more, I, I'm being more of Ushun. I'm more Ushun, <laughs> right? Hashtag more Ushun. I'm more, um, in my feminine wholeness. I'm more of myself as a woman, but 
that's why we said we're, this is a devotional. It takes practice. So after I, I felt that in my sphere and I was just like, okay, I got it. I got it. This is, this is it, you know? And I began to feel the energy of Yemiya. She's the mother of nurture. And I was just like, okay, um, I will, I will bring this, I will bring this energy to the sisters. Let's, this is it. Along with touch, this is it. So I want to tell you, as I sat, you know, and I, oh, let me have a little drink. Y'all with me? Let me pause. Okay. We have five sisters from online. Ashe, welcome, welcome, welcome. Are y'all with me? Are y'all flowing? Does this make sense to you? I'm going to drink some of my nettles infusion. I got to get these down today. Oh, my rose quartz is just talking to me. Let me hold on to my rose quartz. Um, is this resonating with your womb? Does it does it feel right to you? Give me some hearts or some thumbs up. Let me know because I'm going to go deeper into it for a little bit. Hmm. God. Hmm. I just feel like breathing. You want to breathe for a little bit? Let's just, let's just breathe. Ashe, Ashe. Let's just do some breathing, right? Um, I want you to, let's just pause for just um, the breath of life. And set the intention to be peace. Set the intention within yourself to be the spirit of feminine delight. Oh, so wonderful. Set the intention to be content. Mm. <sighs> that feels so good. Feel the earth beneath you, whether it's your bed, your chair, your seat, your floor, whatever it is. And just feel yourself supported because you are. You're always supported. You are always supported. You are always supported. <sighs> Let's just sit with that. Hand over your heart, one over your womb. I'm not for sure if you get if you can or not, but just if you can, place one hand over your heart. Ooh, I have Yingling on my on my um my hands. It smells so sweet. And one over your womb and just be with yourself for a little bit and just drop into your womb. Sink into your womb. Soften into your womb. If you carry any tension in your belly, release that belly. Soften your face. Soften your brow. <sighs> and just be here. I bring all of me in this moment. I am present. <sighs> I am present with my womb. I am present with my heart. I am present with my own love. I invite you to feel your own love now. Feel your own love now. <sighs> And sink deeper into your own love. Ultimately, this is all about your love. Your devotion. As above, so below. As within, so without. Your womb is a reflection of your life. So we filling her up with love. We're filling her up with peace and contentment. And musings and delight. <sighs> mm. Feel the peace. <sighs> mm. 
We give honor for Eshu for connecting us to Mother Yemiya and to the angels of womb, peace and contentment and delight. We thank you so much, Mother Earth, for holding us up every single day and providing us the nourishment that we need in this body and protection. You protect us against the sun. Thank you, Earth Mother. To our Egun, to our Ori, to our Egbe, to all of our guides and everyone who walk with us, to our womb spirit, thank you. To every, to every part of us, to every part of us, thank you. To the spirit of feminine wholeness and our Yi Ushun who governs the space, thank you. We give thanks. We give thanks. <sighs> Here together, we set this intention for this week. To be in the spirit of peace. Feminine peace. That looks like contentment. That looks like all is well. That looks like satisfaction. That looks like beauty and grace and fulfillment. We set the intention to be in delight. To play. To have fun. To allow our feminine spirit to just be free and feel so good, feel so blessed, feel so beautiful, and feel so lovely. We set that intention here as we go into the new moon and celebrate the beautiful love day to be filled with love. We set the intention to journey deeper with our womb as she represents our feminine hearts, our first heart, really. In our hearts, our higher hearts, in our lower heart that is in between our breasts, our place of warmth and nurture and love. We bless our breasts. <sighs> we give thanks for more feminine wholeness. Ashe, Ashu, ooh, hey, thank you. Thank you for being here and helping me get this prayer through, Ashe. <laughs> Bless you. I give thanks for the present of the crossroad spirit who just showed up. <laughs> Thank you for this prayer being taken to the spirits in the highest realm, the forces that are greater than our own. We bow and we give thanks. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Okay, so as I began to just, um, I hope you feel good. Just wanted to take and add some little, add some spirit in here. Um, and just feeling so delightful. As you, spirit is so heavy on me right now. Um, let me just sit for a second and see if he actually has a message for all of us. Because you know, we, we are setting intention and we're praying. He carries our messages. Hmm. You know, that's powerful. So those of you who don't know, Eshu, um, carries the energy of um i want to say carnal energy human energy you could find eshu at the cemetery you could find eshu at a bar you could find him in these places where human beings um we would we would usually say lower vibrational places but he allows himself to experience humanity and he's speaking and I hear the word arousal, sexual energy, arousal. Oh my goodness, self-arousal. And I feel that, oh my, like tantalizing, everything in me is just standing up. 
But arousal um, and allowing yourself, I'm seeing that connection. I'm seeing that connection to delight. I'm seeing that connection to pleasure. I'm seeing that connection to being gratified. Arousal is not necessarily um, sexual, have to be sexual in nature. It's what's awakening you. What's arousing, what are arousal, arising, rising up? What's piquing your interest? Ashe, Ashe, yes, 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 yes. Um, so I did not invite that. I invite you in on this week, on today. What um is inviting you to be aroused, to really deepen in your love, in your love life, in your womb life, in your womb love life, because our womb is connected to our heart. Remember, our uterus is connected to our heart. What is arousing? What's, uh, what's bringing you into, uh, inviting you to a place of ar- arousal? And this really does go back to being in that place of contentment and delight, because when you are satisfied, you just feel, you feel, you feel aroused all over your body. You feel alive. That's aliveness. Um, and I felt this today as I, I sat with my womb and, I, you know, I laid down, and I was with my womb and I blessed my womb with contentment, delight. I blessed my womb with peace. And every single time and I went through and I and I encourage you to do this, um, allow space for yourself. Um, so when I bless my womb with peace, I began to see these beautiful and feel so much peace. Um, sky blue, right? big fluffy white clouds and my breast became clouds my place of nurture and then I said okay I felt that I received it I connected with it I sunk deeper into it when I bless myself with the light I begin to just feel cheerful and just 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 um like a school like I was dressed up like a naughty school girl right just like ooh, like my innocence is aroused and peaked and perky and playful all at the same time and I began to see like um pink clouds like everything was like a pink purple sky and um purple water so I just allowed myself then to kind of sink and float in those waters and my breast became pink purple um clouds when I spoke that I am content, my womb filled up with an orange tree. And I allowed those those then those roots to go down into the ground and allow the tree to come up all the way up through my heart chakra, all the way up through to my crown. And then I just became this orange tree. And it was so beautiful. So I invite you to also when you connect with these energies, these vibrations of peace. Uh, contentment of delight with your womb feel into it how does it feel I'm a I see I'm I'm a seer so I see things and then I allow okay let me go under that and let me feel it so that's just what it is or I'll hear it but based off of your spiritual psyche sense right your your spiritual self feel into each one of them with the intention and see what comes up with you. If it's easier for you to journal, do that because you want to deepen the energy so you can really feel what does my feminine um, peace looks like? What does feminine delight looks like? Now, as she was saying, what does arousal look like for you this week? What is that? So you can experience it for yourself. So I sat with that and I said, okay, what does my contentment and delight crave today? Hmm. <sighs> I invite you into that question. What does your contentment and delight crave? To crave something is to want it with everything in your being, right? You just deeply, deeply desire. You crave it. You need it. You got to have it. You can't live without it. So, I saw myself um, being with my husband today and 
secondly, I saw a family day. I saw us putting up our big screen and me popping popcorn with coconut oil and us hanging out and just vegging out today and just being in just beautiful feminine, fun energy and me putting on my wifey, putting on my mommy and being in that energy. And um, and that's that's what I've been doing all day and it's been so delightful to do that. So when I want to invite you to deepen it. So when you get up, um, you know, bless your womb, speak your blessings of your womb, set that intention. I'm choosing to be in more of my feminine essence through contentment, through peace and through delight. And then ask, how can I actually, this is if you want to deepen it. How can I, how can I be this way? What? Um, what activities, what efforts can I bring to experiences in my life? Okay. So what I did, my husband ended up coming downstairs, you know, because I was already downstairs doing stretches and I, he ended up coming downstairs and I caught him at the stairs and he was just, I was just like, Hey, good morning. You know, um, and he was on his way to the bathroom and he was, I was just like, so why don't you, you know, so why don't you come back upstairs, right? He's just like, oh, babe, I'm about to take a shower. I was like, for what? And I said it like that. I was like, for what? And he was just like, oh, okay, I'll be up there. <laughs> like, would you, you don't need to take a shower yet. No, not yet. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. So he got to, I came upstairs and lit our, um, I lit a candle. I've been working with this candle for us since we got married. And I burn it every time we make love. And it's a signature. And I always burn the same candle. And it was, I got it as, um, at, a, at my, I think a shower, my bridal shower. And it's a thick, rich, big candle. So we go have it for a long time because I just only burn it for us to bring in the energy and it reminds me of our honeymoon and all that stuff. So I lit I lit our sex candle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um I lit our candle. He know that smell. I know that smell. And I lit our candle and I'm just waiting for him. And but what I really delighted in was not um I didn't receive him. We didn't I didn't feel his him um inside me. I just wanted to serve him. So I just gave and I just delighted and felt so content just giving and just um worshiping his lingam and just speaking affirmations and blessing his masculine and, and massaging him. And it felt so good and I felt so aroused and alive doing that and I felt contentment. I set the intention in that time with him to be content in my womb. How does it feel to really be content in my womb during my lovemaking? How does it feel to be content in my womb when I worship him and allow his masculine to be? How does it really feel to be content when he holds me after that? How does it feel to just be content when he when he wraps his arms around me? How does contentment feel in my womb? How do I live it? Ashe? And it felt so good. It felt so good. And he blessed me by, you know, laying hands on my womb. And I just felt so content. I felt so delighted. I felt so blessed. I got up. I made breakfast for, for my family. And I already cooked dinner. And when I've been um, talking to one of my spiritual leaders. And just having a, just a beautiful, content day being in my wifehood and being in my motherhood. And um, when I get done with this, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to put that screen up and I'm going to finish off. So, and when I think, and when you think about this, uh, your arousal and your contentment and your delight, it's not always just like a sexual thing. Cause even when I, I laid back before I got on a call with you all, I said to myself, okay, let me just check in. Let me check in. What is my delight craving right now? And then I saw the big screen up and I was just like, okay, I'm going to make sure we do that because when you set the intention of how you want your day and then, you know, things happen, stuff happen. You know, my daughter ended up burning her finger and, you know, stuff happened. I was just like, okay. But when I said that, um, okay, let me go ahead and make sure we get the screen up. I'm going to make sure we pop this popcorn. I'm make sure we continue the flow of what this is because I desire to be in my mother energy is Sunday and really bring that family energy today and delight in it. Um, my yawning began to just pop and just, I felt sensual energy come through me. Now, how interesting is that? The 
thoughts of being in a delightful place in my motherhood and spending time in my with my family activated my yoni responded you see our yoni is not just a place that's all about sexual penetration. When you are in a place of living as, as you brought to us, arousal, and you are in a place of living in delight, that is in the bedroom and out. Sensual energy is in the bedroom and out. Feminine wholeness and essence is in the bedroom and out. Ashe, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you, but I, I want to share it to you in a real life because I live this, <laughs> you know, I'm living it. This is my life and I choose to um, be in my feminine wholeness and be, um, be more Ushun and be expressed as more Ushun um, in that way and nurture myself and nurture those around me, which includes my husband and my children um, and all of those who are connected to me. So that is the transmission. That is the reason that is, that's what it is. And that's why I'm bringing this energy to you all today. We want to bless SU for um, bringing the, um, the energy of questioning and invitation of what does your arousal look like? And being aroused in your life. Okay. Let me see here. And I want to go to. Because I actually posted the um, practice. I posted the womb um, blessing practice. Um, in, in our group. And you can take some time. I put it in the foul. Um, yeah. I put it in the foul. In the womb love devotional foul. And I also posted it and it's going to be posted actually in eight minutes. It's going to be posted again so that you can look at it and know the actual practice itself. Let me see here. Okay. Um, know the actual practice itself. What's going on? What's going on with this internet? Hold on, sisters. What is going on with this internet? You know, we got, you know, I got our Wi-Fi and, um. Okay. So does this um uh, does this resonate with you all? Does it make sense? How are you feeling right now with what this energy is looking like for this week for this womb love um devotion? Blessing your womb with uh contentment, peace and delight. Does it resonate with you? Y'all with me? Because I want to go through the actual practice itself and lean into this with you. Y'all with me? Give me some, some thumbs up, some likes, some something. in the group hmm. Hmm. so when you do this here and I posted it um you're gonna start by um you know, you want to make sure your your space is clear, free of distraction, all that. This is your sacred time for you to be with yourself. It could be as, as fast as five minutes or you can go deeper, 15 minutes. However, you feel guided. I'm suggesting that you do it at least once this week. But I invite you to do it daily. And I also invite you at least three times this week, post in a group. Um, as I said before, you you hashtag womb nurture, you have the opportunity to win a uh, pay whatever you can to come into the full moon circle on March 2nd. And you just clear your space, bless your space, do what you need to do. I trust you all know how to bring in yourself in sacredness. And just you begin rubbing your hands together. If you want to, you could do it now. But you're going to rub your hands together and set the intention. Bless your hands and fill your hands up with um, peace, contentment, and delight. Ashe, 
you bless your hands with that and then um you you let your womb know drop into your womb breathe into your womb i'm going to lay hands on you you respect your womb spirit okay in your organs, in your womb itself, your physical womb. I'm going to, you know, I set this intention with you. I want to lay hands on you, nurture you, rest your hands over your womb. You can map your womb out. Your map, your womb is um, connected two inches above your navel, two inches in from left to right is your ovaries. And that's where they're rested. So you can make your womb pyramid and connect with your womb, lay hands on your womb and begin to just speak your blessings over your womb. I bless my womb with peace. I bless my womb with contentment. I bless my womb with delight. I bless my womb with arousal for life. I bless my womb with contentment. I bless my womb with delight. I bless my womb with peace. I bless my womb with arousal for life. And you just begin just blessing your womb. Um, and just allow that, breathe in it, keep deepening into it, deepen into it, see, feel, hear what comes to you. Take note of it and allow your womb to speak to you, allow your uterus to speak to you. If you wish, you can also, of course, connect with your other organs. Um, you can also give yourself a womb massage. I just gave myself a womb massage before I got on. If you do that, I like to use um, sweet almond oil and clary sage. Clary sage is a essential oil that is good for overall womb health and hormonal health. If you choose, you can do that at that time. Set your intention to carry that energy throughout today. And when you feel good, you feel content. Give thanks um, to all your spirits, Yimmy Yai, Ushun, everybody for allowing you to be in that nurturing nature and also i didn't say that in the beginning but also invite mother yumiya to come in for you to help you if you need the angels of nurture and womb nurture and contentment to bless you if you need more support you can do that as well and then come into the group tell me about it let us witness one another and that is the intention for the week my love that is it um, again, it's going to be posted in the file section and it's posted in the group, the actual devotion step by step for you to do and just be with it. We have so much beautiful energy coming in here. The new moon is coming in, new moon blessings. We have Valentine's Day. So what a week to be in the spirit of arousal and delight and contentment and feeling good, feeling and loving up on your womb, loving up on your life as above so below as within so without the invitation is yours i love you i love you i love you remember all of my sessions are on special and for seven days into the 18th the womb readings the love life readings life path soul goddess all of that personal recorded everything is on special um in honor of love in order of love i love you i love you i love you you know i really do i bless you and i'll see you in this circle